Hello, welcome to my channel, To Crochet Curious. My name is Joanne, and it's Thursday, so it's Things We're Making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. All right, so we had a little pause for our jingle for Things We're Making Thursday. Now, this is the third week of March, I think. I'm actually recording this a couple days early. I am trying to stay ahead on uh, some of my videos. Now, as you may recall, we are doing, I don't have the pattern with me, gotta grab it. And I'm back, okay. Um, so, we are doing the Lux Pillow Trio. You've probably seen this by now. We're three weeks in. And the Lux Pillow tri Trio is part of a collaboration between multiple channels. Um, things we're making Thursday, and everybody's making the same free pattern. This one happens to be from Your Inspirations website, and it involves making pillow covers for three different pillows and some people are making one, some two, some three. I'm only going to get two done. I can tell you that right now as far as all the projects I have going on to is all I'm going to get done. But I'm even having problems finishing two and I'll, I'll tell you why. So first of all I did and you can watch the video. I'll link it below. I did the pillow number three which is kind of a um, do they even call it? Do they call it anything? Mm. Pillow cover number three. It's got kind of a slash through it. And anyway, it's um, shown here. You can see that. And then the back is made out of two panels. So I made that for my uh, granddaughter out of a pink um, material that I had. And that turned out pretty well. Um, but it wouldn't fit over the pillow cover that I was going to cover for her. Um, so anyway, I started then making pillow number one, which is a kind of a puff stitch. And I've been using my scrap yarn because I'm trying to use my scrap yarn for various projects. And doing pretty well, except for I ran out of yarn. Not only did I run out of yarn for the front, I didn't have enough to do the back panels out of my selected yarn either. So, so here's what I've done. Um, I've been working the bobble and when I realized the situation I was in with the lack of matching yarns, I switched it up. I stopped bobbling and I started just doing half doubles on both ends of the panel. So the bobbles run through the middle and then there's strips of half double crochets across the top and the bottom. And then I'm stitching it together. So here I've got one panel done in the tan on the back and I've got it partially stitched together. Now <clears throat> here's what I have of the other panel. This is all the yarn I have. Um, for this, there's just, I mean, that was yarn chicken at its finest right there. That's how far I got. Now, I did just run across, um, I was going through my yarn and I ran across another tan. So I'll check and see if that matches this, but I don't think I have any more of this color. And this is all I have left of the, and this is kind of a, a lot of air in that ball. <laughs> um, this is all I have left of the teal. So I'm going to sew the panels together and I'm going to cover this um, much squishier pillow than the other pillows that I have. Um, and I'm just going to make it make it fit. <laughs> so um, I'll do my best to make it fit. And if I have to, I can always, um, you know, open this up. It's got 
fiber fill in it that's not in pillow form. So I could take that out and just kind of restuff this thing, um, change the shape a bit if I need to. So I think it's going to turn out okay. I did get some buttons. Although I'm not positive the buttons match this. But anyway, I do have some toggle buttons I could use that are wood. So I'll find something that matches. And um, so my plan is for next week, I will have completed this project and we'll show it off on Thursday. And um, <laughs> in, it's going to be making it work Thursday instead of things we're making Thursday. So uh, I'll just do my best on that. And I'm, I've heard good things about the um, pillow cover number two, the basket weave. I've heard people saying that they like that form, that particular way of doing the basket weave. So I, you know, maybe some other day I'll pick it up and do it because I still have one pillow I haven't covered. <laughs> but I do have other projects going on, so I'll just do the best I can. I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel if you have, and um, please give me a thumbs up and comment if you like. Also, um, telling other people that, you know, and sharing the links, you can share the links on Facebook if you want to share it with your friends. Um, I have a giveaway going on right now for 250. It's uh, 250 subscribers, and... That closes on March 25th, 2023. You must be 18 or older. There's a um, video to watch. It's a, one of my lives. If you look under on my channel under live or giveaway playlist, you'll find it. Um, and I just encourage you to enter if you're a subscriber. I appreciate you. Uh, you can see on the video what's in the uh, giveaway. And... It's going to be fun. We're going to draw that um, next Saturday. And I am about done with the uh, little box that I was making. Um, it has a surprise in it, which I'll show off when, when we do the drawing. So anyway, I want to thank you for coming around. And I want to encourage you to look in the description box at all the other channels that are participating. And not everybody participated this month, but if you want to check out these people uh, and their channels and see if you like them, uh, subscribe if you like them. And um, I know that we have a couple of newer members and they will be joining us next month. So, you know, just hop on board. And if you see us doing something that you want to do, it's going to be a free pattern every month. And um, I just encourage you to go check it out. Be sure and watch the other channels as well and see what they have produced for their Thursday mix. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye now.